syndrome, which pushes against three tiny bones known as the ossicles. The ossicles transmit sound to the cochlea. As sound vibrations pass through the fluid, hair cells like me are moved, stimulating nerve cells to send an impulse to the brain. And you hear. You may not have noticed, but you are in the ear of an Incredibat teammate. They visited audiologist Dr. Allison Friend, who showed them how to use a decibel meter. She talked about the importance of getting earbuds that fit so kids do not have to turn up their iPods in noisy places. You see, according to a study published in August by the American Medical Association, one in five teens have noise-induced hearing loss. Many teens do not care or don't know that their hearing is at risk. Yep, that's my doing. I'm a sound wave at 85 decibels. Some sound waves are friendly at 60 or 70, but a sound wave over 85 decibels can be harmful to your hearing. The Incredibats made a chart showing what is harmful to your hearing and what isn't. Yeah, I'm King George of Loudness. When there's too many sound waves, hair cells can bend too far and break. When there's too much noise, blood flow to the hair cells is reduced, and they produce too many free radicals and they die. An Incredimat teammate went to the Apple Store and found out there is no information on an iPod about safe listening. So the team made a hearing survival guide and stickers to remind teens how to listen carefully. Eureka! Eureka! The Incredibats made ear jewelry to make hearing protection cool! <gasps> the team also visited Dr. Lori, a speech pathologist who teaches at the University of Toledo. In Dr. Lori's class, they met students in the field of speech pathology. Even though they knew about NIHL and they preached about it, the teens told us that they didn't protect themselves from it. Hey! The Incredibats went to UT Recreation Center. They set up Jolene, a manic and then equipped with a microphone and a DV meter that you can put your earbuds on and she will tell you how loud they are. They tested 20 students' iPods. They wrote an NXT program to tell students how long they can listen to, to their iPods at the levels they tested. 75 students completed surveys. The team also gave the team stickers and the hearing survival guide and showed them earplugs. I King George of Loudness am being defeated. The Incredibats visited a Detroit FLL meet and tested sound levels. They gave out Lego designer earplugs to FLL officials and another FLL team. They contacted the Detroit FLL coordinator and the Detroit Science Center and shared their data about sound levels at the meet. King George, I'm afraid we're losing the war. The Incredibats contacted Dr. Yvonne, who sent information from DangerousDecibels.org about how to protect yourself from NIHL and how to build a Jolene. They built Jolene and they are getting information onto teens' iPods. Because of the Incredibats, teens are learning how to protect themselves from NIHL. No!